DC nigga. And he was like, yo, anybody that know DC and Baltimore don't fuck with each other. Yeah, they they like don't. Especially in Yvonne Tank Davis is set to defend his WB a lightweight title against Lamont Roach in a fight scheduled for December. The announcement, which came on Sunday, caught many fans by surprise, as Roach wasn't on the radar of most as a potential opponent. Despite Davis boasting an impressive career with 30 wins, including 28 knockouts, this matchup hasn't generated much excitement. Many feel it's another case where Davis is avoiding the top contenders in his division, and fans were expecting bigger names like Devin Haney or Teofimo Lopez to be his next challenge. However, Davis seems focused on making the most of his seven-fight deal and is now gearing up for his December fight against Roach. Lamont Roach, a skilled boxer, has a solid record with 25 wins, one draw, and a single loss but lacks the knockout power and recognition compared to Davis. Roach will be moving up from 130 pounds, where he's been the reigning WBA champion. This adds another layer of complexity to the fight, as Roach will be competing in a higher weight class against one of the sport's hardest punchers. The general sentiment among boxing fans is that while Roach is a capable fighter, the match lacks the high-stakes drama expected from a Tank Davis fight, especially considering the vast talent pool in the lightweight division. Tank Davis has been a controversial figure in boxing, not just for his in-ring accomplishments, but for the criticism surrounding his choice of opponents. Davis, at 29, has already cemented himself as one of the biggest stars in the sport. His knockout power, ring intelligence, and ability to entertain fans make him a pay-per-view attraction. Yet, with all this fame, Davis has faced accusations of avoiding the best in the division. Fans were hoping for a showdown with Vasily Lomachenko, Shocker Stevenson, or Devin Haney. The announcement of a fight against Roach, while not entirely shocking, left many feeling disappointed. Roach has been on a six-fight winning streak, most recently defeating Fergal McCrory in a Pro Box main event. Still, this hasn't eased concerns from fans who question whether Roach can offer a real challenge to Davis. The size difference and Roach's lack of knockout power make him a heavy underdog in this fight. While Roach has proven himself a talented fighter, he has yet to face someone of Davis's caliber, and the step up in competition could be too much for him. On the other hand, Tank Davis is coming off a spectacular 8th-round knockout victory over Frank Martin in June, his first fight since serving a 44-day jail sentence for violating house arrest. Despite the legal troubles, Davis looked sharp, and many expected him to face a bigger name next. The decision to fight Roach, though, may be more strategic than it appears. Roach is moving up in weight, which could give Davis an advantage. For Roach, the challenge is immense, but a win over Davis would catapult him into boxing stardom. The fight will take place on December 14, and while the matchup hasn't thrilled fans, it remains an important fight for both men. For Davis, this is another opportunity to defend his title and continue his reign at the top of the lightweight division. For Roach, this is the fight of his life, a chance to dethrone one of the biggest names in boxing. The stakes couldn't be higher, but Davis remains the overwhelming favorite going into the bout. Davis's ability to box and adapt his strategy mid-fight has been a key factor in his dominance. While he often gives away early rounds, he has a knack for adjusting and using his destructive power to turn the fight in his favor. His 30-0 record speaks for itself, and with 28 knockouts, he's a proven finisher. Roach, with his 25 wins, doesn't possess the same knockout power, which could be his downfall against someone like Davis, who thrives on delivering fight-ending punches. In the lead-up to the fight, both fighters have had their first face-to-face -face encounter, which was intense and far from the usual stare-down. Davis, known for carrying his emotions into the ring, appeared ready to settle the score. Roach, though less experienced in high-profile fights, didn't back down, setting the stage for a fiery contest in December.
Critics of Davis's career trajectory argue that he's been too selective with his opponents, often picking fighters who don't pose a serious threat to his title reign. The decision to face Roach, who is not considered one of the top contenders at 135 pounds, only fuels this narrative. Boxing fans were clamoring for a fight with one of the top names in the division, and the announcement of Roach as his next opponent was met with frustration. Many were hoping for a blockbuster fight with Devin Haney or Teofimo Lopez, but those fights never materialized. Haney, who recently announced he could have been ready to fight in October, was reportedly in talks for a bout with Davis. However, no deal was reached, leaving fans to wonder what could have been. Teofimo Lopez, another top name in the division, also seemed like a viable option for Davis, but once again, a fight never came to fruition. The fact that both Haney and Lopez were available for December makes the Roach fight all the more disappointing for fans. Still, some defend Davis's decision, arguing that Roach might be the best available option and that Davis's dominance has made it difficult to find worthy challengers. Roach's lack of recognition and his smaller size have made this fight a tough sell, but for Davis, it's another step in maintaining his lightweight title reign. For Roach, moving up in weight and challenging one of the most dangerous fighters in the sport is a huge risk. The WBA has granted him permission to move up to 135 pounds, but he faces a significant challenge in Davis. Roach's punch power, while respectable, hasn't translated into a high knockout ratio, and against someone like Davis, who can end fights with a single punch, that could be a problem. Despite the criticisms, this fight is happening, and both men will step into the ring on December 14 with something to prove. Davis will look to continue his reign as the WBA lightweight champion, while Roach will attempt to pull off one of the biggest upsets in recent boxing history. In the weeks leading up to the fight, both fighters will be in full preparation mode. Roach, with everything to gain, will be working on strategies to outbox Davis, but it's clear that trading punches with Tank is not a winning formula. Davis, with his knockout power and experience, will likely look to bide his time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to land his devastating punches. While this isn't the fight fans were hoping for, it's still a pivotal moment for both fighters. A win for Davis would further solidify his status as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. For Roach, a victory would be life-changing, putting him on the map as a legitimate contender in the lightweight division. As December 14 approaches, all eyes will be on Davis and Roach to see how this matchup unfolds. Despite the lack of fanfare, both men have something to prove, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Whether this fight lives up to expectations remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. Both Tank Davis and Lamont Roach will leave everything in the ring.